Hi, this is Lem with Dorman Products, here to talk to you today about why you might want to put an oscilloscope in your box if you're a mechanic. Now, if you're working on modern cars, your DVOM probably isn't getting you as far as it once did, and that's because so many circuits on a car are controlled by pulse width modulation. So I've built a little diorama to kind of explain to you what things your DVOM can't show you if you're not a scope user. So we imagine this green car is our modern car, the yellow lit car is an older car. Here's what we would hook up. Okay, if we throw our meter onto the old car, we see 13.02 volts. That's exactly what we'd expect to see out of the charging system of a running vehicle out of say the 70s or 80s. Now, if we come over here on modern car and check that out, well now, we're showing two and a half volts, which theoretically would indicate a problem, except that these bulbs are lighting up nice and bright. There doesn't appear to be any real difference between one side or the other. But let's see what the scope can show us instead. So if we hook up our scope over here, we come to the older car, great. We hook up and we're showing a nice solid voltage, exactly what you'd expect to see coming out of there. However, if we move over to the newer car, the scope tells us a little different story. If you look now, you can see this is also still receiving that full 13 volts, but it's being switched on and off very rapidly, more so than the eye can see. If you look at this thing, you see that the frequency is, is 20,000 times per, per second. So this circuit is actually operating completely normally, but if you don't have an oscilloscope and know how to use it, you'll never catch it. That's why if you're a professional mechanic today, you should think about having a scope in your box and the training to use it. You can swing on over to dormantrainingcenter.com if you'd like to dip into some classes to help you learn how to use this very powerful tool. For Dorman Products, I'm Lem, and I'm out of here.